In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Salesforce partner community and add payments to it for a quick proof of concept using standard components. My name is Stacy, and I'm from Chargent. If you are a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization, then you are in the right place. And by the way, we've made a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So check that link in the description below. For this configuration, you can use the Chargent Anywhere component to take payments and set recurring payments from the Deals tab. These are your opportunities in Salesforce Partner Community. The cool thing is this works just like when you are in opportunities in Salesforce as an internal user and is pretty straightforward to configure with this guide. So here are the steps. Step one, lightning bolt. We are going to start with the lightning bolt template Partner Central. You can find that on the Salesforce App Exchange under the Lightning Bolt section. Salesforce Lightning Bolts are industry solution templates built by Salesforce and partners, helping you to get going with communities faster. Step number two, sharing settings. There are quite a few sharing settings that need to be configured in order to expose certain Salesforce data in your partner community, allow updating, and allow Chargent payments to process. Okay, sharing settings and org-wide defaults. Sharing settings allow you to determine who can access information within your Salesforce org. External access for communities allows those outside the org in communities to access specific information that you control. The following sharing settings need to be set in order to set up payments in the partner community. Some settings should always be kept as private while others are controlled by the parent object. For leads, the external access should be set to private. For the account object, in other words, customers and contract, the external access should be set to private. For contacts, the external access should be set to controlled by parent. For opportunities, in other words, deals, the external access should be set to private. For charge and orders, the external access should be set to private. Gateways, external access should be set to public read only. And for transactions, external access should be controlled by parent. Step three, required licenses. For this to work, you will need the following licenses installed and assigned. A Salesforce partner community license, all three Chargent packages, Chargent orders, Chargent base, and Chargent anywhere. For step four, we'll set up the community user profile. Set up a profile for a partner community user with the following permissions. For object settings, accounts should be set to read, create, and edit. For charge and orders, it should also be set to read, create, and edit. For contacts, also set to read, create, and edit. And for leads, also set to read, create, and edit. And finally, for opportunities, set to read, create, and edit as well. Step five, create the community. You will now set up your community the workspaces. The administration settings and preferences should be set as follows. For settings, the status should be set to active. And for preferences, the record ownership default owner should be set to happy chargent customer. The members should be the system administrator and the partner community user. Step six, use the builder. And now the fun part, use the builder to create menus and pages. For the navigation menu, add the menu item, rename accounts, customers, set the type to Salesforce object, set the object to equal account, and set the default list view to equal my accounts. Next, add the menu item leads. Set the type to equal Salesforce object, set the object to equal lead, and set the default list view to equal all open leads. Next, add the menu item and rename opportunities or deals. Set the type to equal the Salesforce object, set the object to equal opportunity, and set the default list view to equal my opportunities. Next, add the menu item charge and orders. The type should be set to Salesforce object, the object should be set to charge and order, and the default list view set to all. Step seven, add Chargent. Using the Chargent Anywhere component, you will add payments capabilities to the community that you have built. For the pages and find opportunity details, page variations, create the new page variation opportunity detail. Make it the default. Under the properties, change the layout, 
to be set up for two columns with a two to one ratio. Next, add the charge in anywhere to the opportunity detail page. For the configuration, set the gateway ID for the desired payment gateway, add the default charge amount, the opportunity amount field will work for example, limit the payment request contacts to true, if you missed any of the steps or settings, consult the page in our documentation for easy reference. And now it is time to test. You should log in as a partner community user to make sure everything works as expected, since as the system administrator, you will have access to things that regular partner community users will not. And now check out this next video. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you to keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.